Alexander Wetmore, ornithologist and sixth secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, and Watson M. Perigo, taxidermist and field collector for the United States National Museum, made eight expeditions together to Panama from 1946 to 1953 in preparation for Wetmore's four-volume survey, The Birds of Panama. Perigo documented the 1950 to 1953 trips with eight millimeter movies. Wetmore and Perigo began their trip each year with a visit to the Canal Zone Biological Area on Barrow, Colorado Island in Gatun Lake, now the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, to review operations. In 1950, they established headquarters at Chimon on the southeastern coast and made several trips inland along the Rio Corutu and the Rio Mahe. In 1951, they collected around Cerro Campaña on the southwest coast down to Bijuco, Nuevo Gorgona, and Playa Santa Clara, and then traveled inland to the mountain resort of El Valle. In 1952, they journeyed along the northwest coast from Rio Salud to Boca del Rio Indio, and then went inland along the Rio Indio. They also collected on Toboga Island in the Gulf of Panama that year. Finally, in 1953, they explored the region around Sona in the province of Veraguas. En route to Panama in 1950, Perigo stopped at his sister's home in Miami, Florida. Here, Annette Fisher stands by her house surrounded by poinsettias, bougainvillea, and palm trees. On the 8th of February, Wetmore and Perigo arrived at the Canal Zone Biological Area, which had recently been placed under Smithsonian Aegis. James Zetek, director of the station, rides the elevator cart uphill from the boat landing to the station house. Wetmore and Perigo would rest here for a few days, getting adjusted to the tropical climate and reviewing operations of the station. Scientists and staff traveled back and forth from the mainland on the station's launch, the Luna, seen here in Gatun Lake, leaving Barrow, Colorado Island. The lake was formed when the region was flooded for the Panama Canal. Barrow, Colorado Island had been the ridge of a mountain in the flooded valley. This year, they inspected the site of a new water tank for the station. Wetmore recalled, One of the uh, interesting additions to the operations here has been a laboratory on Barrow, Colorado Island in the canal zone. And they, uh, that began purely as, a, as an outside operation on the part of a, of a few men who were interested in the natural history of that area and saw the, the opportunities that there was for increasing knowledge through, through it. And in fact, the, uh, the, Bureau, the uh, Department of Agriculture had a, a, uh, an, an entomologist located in the canal zone or some of their interest down there, uh, Zetek, James Zetek, Z-C-E-T-E-K, -E uh, a very, very competent man, and uh, one who had uh, <coughs> developed close contacts with the various uh, administrative operations of the canal zone. Uh, Dr. Thomas Barber of uh, the uh, Massachusetts. Actually, he was a, a strong member of the staff of the Museum of uh, the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard. He was younger at that time and active, much interested in the American tropics. 
down there somewhere every year. Zetex, who is uh, who is connections down there, fiscal connections, had the sanction to use this area for scientific study, and Barber, with his uh, own personal means and uh, uh, his many friends of similar st financial status, was able to provide the, the money. Mm -hmm. And finally, it was set up as a uh, as a uh, special activity under a board composed of the Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of the Army, Secretary of the Smithsonian, and so on, and uh, operated in that way. Of course, I came into it then, the Smithsonian angle.